Hi, this is my personal philosophy video. I'd just like to start with a little bit about myself. So my name is Robert Falds and I am the head coach of the snowboard programs up here in the Yukon. I've been coaching for quite a number of years and prior to being a snowboard coach I was on the competitive snowboard team competing for slope style. Um, so I currently work with quite a large range of athletes ages 8 all the way to 18. If you're familiar with the athlete development stages, I work primarily with athletes in the development stages 3 and 4, as well as preparations for stage 5. Um, I, do, I facilitate on snow training at the ski hill, as well as dry land training, so strength and conditioning at the gym, and trampoline training at the gym, for example. Moving on from there, I'd really like to talk about the importance of goal setting. It's a major part of my philosophy. Um, at, at the start of each season, we sit down with each of the athletes within the snowboard program, and we have a little conversation with them on, on where they would like to be this season, where they see themselves in two seasons, and just what they'd like to do with snowboarding in general. And I think this is really important to do is it not only helps me facilitate the program and give a fun program for the athletes, but it also helps the athletes with some motivation and gives them something to look forward to in the season. So I think really setting realistic goals is or smart goals is one of the best things we can do to help keep motivated. Um, not just setting goals in a professional aspect, but also personal aspect. So um, a personal goal for me would be coaching at the Canada Winter Games this upcoming winter. So I will be going to Whistler in this upcoming May for some extra training as a snowboard coach. And I am beyond excited for this opportunity. And, it, and it's been a goal of mine for... A number of years now to coach at these games so it's something that I'm extraordinarily excited to be a part of and extremely motivated to continue doing so that's a personal goal for me that is definitely a realistic goal um, and I think that making sure that our goals are realistic is ideal because that's what keeps us motivated as I mentioned and motivation is what drives us it, it can be the determining factor if we're gonna get out of bed or lie in bed all day it's what makes us eager to continue on with the next day um but one factor that comes along with goal setting which is also extremely important in my opinion is patience um being patient with each situation and with the goals that we set so it's important for everyone to remember that not everything happens overnight and not everything will happen within a specific time frame so it's it's really important for us to make sure that we're patient with the results the results aren't rushed and we're not rushing to obtain results um and being patient with each situation. So when when you have a goal set, it's quite often you come across a speed bump. You know, in snowboarding, it's quite common for an injury to prevent someone from continuing on for the season or just ending that, you know, ending that season in general or just putting them out for a couple months or weeks. Um, so I think really being patient with each situation and the goal is really key. I've always been a patient person myself, so it, it this has always been these two goal setting and patience have always been um, part of my philosophy. Is it's something that's really been part of snowboarding for such a long time? So, moving on from that, I'd really like to talk about 
about being more open-minded. This is something that I really needed to work on this season. And with a lot of the discussions and the courses and the readings, it was something that I was able to work on. Um, In the past, I've been a very stubborn person. My Typically, I'll have my mind made up and uh, if someone comes at me with another suggestion, uh, it was typically just a flat out no. Um, but and an, exa- an example of this could be when I, I travel with the snowboard team. It's quite often I would have a, a very strict, rigorous sch- schedule that we'd have to follow. And it kind of took the fun out of it, so to say. It caused a lot of stress on the athletes. It caused a lot of the stress on the coaches. And it was often that when someone mentioned that we do something different, it was just, no, this is this is what we're doing. This is how we're doing it. Um, so this past season, I've been really taking in everyone's opinions and trying to implement them in ways that I can into the schedule and it's been extremely beneficial on our trips it's changed the attitude through the trip and it's taken loads of stresses off the coaches and the athletes while we've been away um so this is definitely so being open-minded is definitely part of my philosophy it's a major part that probably was never there before I even started this court these courses um i think another big thing is managing priorities so i know a lot of um a, a lot of the other classmates have multiple jobs as well as um as doing these courses and that is amazing time management um it's very hard for me personally to have good time management and managing priorities. I am usually all over the place and everything's going in at last minute or it's never really organized. It's procrastinated till the last minute. But um, with this, this past season and this past year, I've really been working on getting stuff done before the deadline handing it in um both in and out of school and really just managing my priorities knowing knowing what needs to be done when it needs to be done by and how i'm gonna do it is really a skill that i've developed and it's really helped me build into my personal philosophy in this past the past few months Um, Of course, it's still a learning process, but it's definitely getting there. Um, Back capping quickly. Uh, So I have a couple of really key important factors about my personal philosophy are the importance of goal setting, patience, and managing priorities. Um, I feel like those are three really, really important parts of my philosophy um and i think that's all that i really have to cover i could go on more about communication but i'm running out of time um so thank you very much bye